Welcome to What's in Your Pantry with Kathy Cooks, and I am Kathy Cooks. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please subscribe below. I would love for you to support me in that way. Give me a thumbs up and then click the bell also. That bell will notify you when there's another video posted. This recipe is going to be so quick and easy. Now, if you watch the recipe I posted last week, I made a delicious quick chicken meatball with green beans, with blistered green beans and a yummy oyster sauce. This week, I take my leftover rice from that recipe and I'm making an amazing Greek quick lemon and chicken creamy soup out of the leftover rice from the meal I made that I posted last week. I used a one leftover rotisserie chicken breast. Um, I had two old lemons. I had that leftover rice and I had um, on my counter, I had some dill. And I was like, wow, I have everything for that recipe. Now the two times I made it before, I used a recipe and followed it probably 80%. I'm not using a recipe at all for this one and it turned out spectacular. So let's get in the kitchen and get cooking this quick Greek soup that I can't remember how to pronounce. I'll put it right here. There, now you have it. The lemons I used were old and crusty, but you know what? They didn't go to waste. One of them was so old, I couldn't even use, get the lemon zest off of it. So for this recipe, I used the zest of one lemon, but it was a small lemon. My juice of those lemons came to a little over a quarter cup and I used all of that in the recipe. The next thing I did was I had a handful of dill that, was, that I had in my garden. So I just chopped a handful of dill up, set that aside. Those are the only two things we needed set aside. Also, I used four cups of homemade stock. You can go to the grocery store and buy some, use some chicken better than bouillon, whatever you need to get four cups of the stock. In this recipe, we needed one and a half cups of cooked rice. Now we're gonna take a half a cup of that cooked rice and we're gonna put it in our blender. We're gonna add two eggs to that and our lemon juice. And we're gonna blend that all up till it's nice and frothy. And that is the cream, that that's the substitute. Instead of using a heavy cream, that's kind of your cream there and you've got some extra fat in with the egg. So that's ready now and set aside. So in your simmering bowl, throw in your chicken. You can turn it up a little bit more, get it cooking a little more. And um, then we're gonna put in the lemon rind and half of the sprigs of chopped, um, what herb is that? Dill, that's right, dill. You wanna get that all flavorful and in there. So you're gonna want that to cook probably 10 minutes. Now you're when you're ready to eat, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn down your, your um, pan to low. And so you wanna get it to stop boiling. And so now you pour in your egg mixture and stir as much as you can. You do not want curdling to happen. And it turns into this beautiful, beautiful soup. And it's ready within a couple minutes once you turn it back up to medium, let it cook a bit, keep stirring, and it's ready. If by chance you're like, oh my gosh, this is too lemony, um, you could, two ways to avoid that. You could either cut back on the lemon in the your blended mixture and then put some in at the end until you, you like it, until you figure out what you like. Or if you didn't do that and you feel like it's too lemony, you can always add more leftover rice and more chicken bouillon. It doesn't matter. Salt, and I didn't put pepper. You can put pepper if you want. I don't think it, I don't know, maybe it would have went good with pepper because lemon and pepper go well together. I'll try it with the leftovers. So that's it. That is how quick this meal is. Serve it with a great loaf of bread. It's fantastic. It is such a great, I think, go-to summer soup because of it's just so lemony and light. There's not that heavy cream in there. It is fantastic and super easy to make with the leftovers you have in your fridge. Thank you so much for watching. 
and I hope you start learning to shop your pantry. Remember to subscribe below, thumbs up, and jingle that bell.